so here we have a problem which was sent by one of my viewers and in this we have a square like this and then we have a semicircle over it like this and then everything is enclosed inside a circle like this and we have to find the radius of the big circle where the radius of the semicircle is one centimeters so how to solve this problem this problem can actually be solved using two different methods at first if you see this drawing you can see that this internal figure is actually touching the circle at three distinct points so if i join these three points then I can actually make a triangle and we also know that the radius of the circumcircle of a triangle is given as A multiplied by B multiplied by C where A, B, C are the sides of the triangle divided by four times the area of the triangle. Since we know the radius of the semicircle is one centimeter that means the diameter of the circle is two centimeters. So this much is one centimeter and since the diameter is two centimeters that means each side of the square is actually equal to two centimeters. So this is two centimeters and this is also equal to two centimeters right and distance from here till here will also be equal to two centimeters right and since this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC and AC will actually be equal to square root of 3 square plus 1 square that is 9 plus 1 so this will be equal to square root of 10 so the radius of the circle will be given as A which is 2 multiplied by b which is root 10 multiplied by c which is again root 10 divided by four times the area of the triangle and the area of the triangle is given as 1 by 2 base which is equal to 2 multiplied by height and height is equal to 2 plus 1 3 this 2 cancels this 2 2 2s are 4 and this will be 10 divided by 3 2s are 6 or this is equal to 5 divided by 3 centimeters right this is one method and now let's talk about the another method of solving this so we know that if there are two circles touching each other then they also have a common tangent and if I draw a line from this point where these two circles are touching each other through the center of this small circle this line will also pass through the center of the bigger circle and this if I draw further this blue line will actually be the diameter of the bigger circle so if I call this point as point A and this as B and this as C and this as D and let me call this intersection point as point P then if we see properly this chord A B and chord C D they both are intersecting each other at point P and now I can use the intersecting chord theorem that means AP multiplied by PB will be equal to CP multiplied by PD and this is a square this much is the radius of the circle and this much is also the radius of the circle and since this is a square CP will be equal to PD will be equal to 1 so AP which is actually equal to 1 plus 2 3 multiplied by PB will be equal to CP multiplied by PD or you can say PB will be equal to 1 divided by 3 so the total length AB will be equal to 3 plus 1 divided by 3 that is 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 10 divided by 3 so AB is the diameter that means radius will actually be equal to AB divided by 2 half of the diameter and this will be equal to 5 divided by 3 centimeters so these are the two methods using which you can solve this problem and that's all for this video and if you also have an interesting problem for which you need a solution or you want to share that interesting problem with us you can send your problem to the number shown on the screen and for many more such interesting videos keep watching MathSmart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then